heartbreak of Wilma Motel, the uplifting feeling of Wake Up, the sheer power of Lazy Eye. These, among countless other songs, are how I am able to fully experience life. A friend once told me uh, that I listen to music in a way that no one else does. And since then, I've been, uh, I've been, been it's too low. Uh, since then, I've been paying close attention to my experiences while driving to school, taking a shower, or spending a weeknight fully immersed uh, in Pandora. <laughs> Through these self-observations, I've been able to, fur to further examine the way I react to music, uh, which is closely correlated to the way I react to life. Every time I play a certain song or, art or artist, I'm experimenting with my emotions and then taking mental notes of how I react. 95% of the time, the song I play does not match with my current emotional state and nothing happens. But then there's that other 5% where something in the music hits the right way and I'm covered in goosebumps and shivers leaving me numb for a few moments as I attempt to contemplate the greatness that just occurred. These are the moments that I live for above all else, and I'm always searching for songs to, to replicate those experiences. <coughs> Many of you uh, don't have this emotional connection uh, to music like I do. Uh, however, for, for each of you, uh, there's something probably, or there's something that probably exists that you can relate uh, to my experience. Uh, my advice to you is this. Surround yourself uh, with whatever that thing is. Try to incorporate uh, it into your life as often as possible. This school year has been uh, my happiest um, because of a revelation I had over the summer. Um, I mainly attribute that uh, to a talk I had with my father, um, which changed my perspective on my future and uh, made me realize that I can turn something I love um, from a hobby into a very important to into a very important part of my life plan. Because of this, I'm pleased uh, to say that I will be attending Columbia College in Chicago, majoring in music business management. Um, <laughs> Doug is one of 
of the most unique individuals I've ever met, and I don't see him relinquishing that title anytime soon. Uh, for me, Doug has been the person who has taken the fantasy I had this summer, and over the course of the years, allowed me to see the reality within it. Uh, on a broader scale, we are, at school, incredibly lucky to have, a, uh, to have here someone who's so uh, incredibly devoted and passionate about educating the masses. Um, aside from his passion to music, Doug's love and emotion for what he does is something that I believe all of us uh, in any line of work uh, can appreciate and strive to replicate in our own lives. I will conclude uh, with a quote from one of my uh, heroes, Nirvana drummer and Foo Fighters frontman Dave Grohl. Uh, to me, the most important part of what we do is the interaction, so that it becomes a human event. I love listening to records, I love watching documentaries, and I love reading biographies. But there's nothing better than seeing that person with that instrument doing it right there in front of you. I think that's the greatest thing in the world, and it's my favorite part of performing, just so people know you're for real.